Is it a good time to buy Ethereum? The world market's going absolutely crazy. Bitcoin are potentially seeing another dump on the horizon. What it means for Ethereum is potentially very exciting. It's potentially going to give us the very best setup for buying Ethereum. So make sure you stick around for my price prediction later on in the videos. So first of all, guys, we can see on the daily chart for Ethereum, we had this push up onto this trend line, got rejected back down. This is a daily chart for Ethereum. We're now retesting this accumulation zone through here, this red box, which previously was a good buying area down around 1400 where we've seen this push previously in this area we also saw this push here but i'm getting more and more worried about what's going on with ethereum because although we've had the merger and all this great news if we look across at macroeconomics and what it means for crypto it's actually pretty worrying so first of all guys we're just going to jump across to bloomberg just looking at the home page on bloomberg there's a few things going on here okay australian dollar slides to two-year low on recession risk you're probably thinking why is he talking about australian dollar why we're we talking about foreign exchange doesn't affect crypto. Well, crypto is a risky asset right now in the world because of massive inflation. The US, which is the world's largest economy, I also think that might be putting a bit of pressure right now on China and Russia. Obviously, a lot of things moving. You can see down below your President Xi meeting Putin, a lot of things going on there. Probably the rest of the world feeling a little bit concerned about what that partnership might mean. The US dollar, therefore, has become a safe haven right now for investment because the interest rates are flying. Interest rates are going up because of the inflation. And this means that instead of keeping your money in Australian dollars, euros, GBP, etc., everyone's piling their money into the US dollar. The GBP hit a low since 1985. That's older than me and probably older than most of the people watching this video. Guys, that's a little bit concerning because crypto is one of the most volatile assets going. People are not gonna be willing to put into volatile assets when the markets are volatile. The stock market in the US also taking some pain. If we jump back to the chart, obviously Ethereum are actually looking fairly strong when we look at it in comparison to Bitcoin because the recent low for Ethereum is still down here at $1,000, which from current levels is still a 37% uh, drop towards the downside. Now, what we want to look across at is Bitcoin because Bitcoin, this was the recent low for Bitcoin at $18,000 and yet it sits at $19,700. When Bitcoin falls, Ethereum and the rest of the crypto market will get punished significantly harder. You can see this green zone for Bitcoin has been a nice chunky buy zone. But what has me concerned is this, this little push like this. Because what happens if you're watching markets quite regularly, if they wanna move the markets towards another side, they'll often fake out the markets like this. We had a big push up, we then had a three line strike, which is these one, two, three candles, and then a big engulfing candle towards the downside, indicating that the move is likely to continue towards the downside until this trend breaks we're going to continue to see a further push down so i can see bitcoin realistically falling to around fifteen thousand dollars which will be a painful drop if you're holding bitcoin but the smaller market cap coins like ethereum solana etc will take a bigger hit than that and i think if bitcoin is unable to maintain this level of support here you're going to see ethereum drag down to the thousand dollar range well that's kind of exciting guys because if we look if we look across to where ethereum's been if you've been in ethereum you know throughout this whole kind of like market cycle and now you've kind of like sat in ethereum still unless ethereum finds strength through here which obviously depends completely on what bitcoin and the us dollar are doing then ethereum is more than likely going to revisit this zone here but you can see that this is a very well established support zone for ethereum thousand dollars is what many people are talking about buying at. Whether it reaches all the way down to $1,000 is unknown. What we can think about is our potential opportunities here in terms of a downside of move. Now, if you're wondering whether I'm making long or short trades, I'm waiting for a potential short position if we're breaking these lows through here at around $1,350 to take a quick short down to around $1,000. If you wanna know more about the trades I'm taking as well as some live signals, etc., then I've got a free telegram which is linked down below, guys. Go across ahead into that. It's very new. I'll talk to people within it on a daily basis as well as that, I'm gonna start bringing in various other trading experts, etc. And you can also share your questions and interact with other people in the community for absolutely free, guys head to the Telegram link down below in the description. And I hope you to start getting more out of crypto, finding some of the really hidden gems when it comes to crypto that I think are gonna have absolutely insane bull runs once we kick out of this current pattern. Ethereum right now will more than likely be pushing into this green zone. But what that really means, I think would be the bottom for Ethereum. 
and that means we have a great opportunity to buy. If you're buying Ethereum at $1,000, you can see the potential upside because the potential upside is at least back to where we were before. I put $4,880, which, and in my opinion, if you're buying now, you're still not necessarily paying a bad price, but there could potentially be a better opportunity when it comes for Ethereum. Yes, it's been a bit changeable recently, and some of my calls haven't gone the way that I thought they would. Go away and do your own research. Don't rely 100% on people to give you the results because no trader is 100% accurate all the time. What we're looking at is a probability call. Is there a good opportunity to get in? Where can I make my most money? What are my downside risks, etc., etc. If we're getting down towards the $1,000 level, obviously the risk is then decreased massively and the upside is increased massively as well. We've seen a couple of rejections off of the, this trend line here. So what we could be doing is slowly creeping down forming some sort of a falling wedge through here and then potentially seeing a breakout. And if we look into this chart where we would potentially see a breakout somewhere between middle of October and the end of October, there's a lot of things going on in the news. And yes, I've told you before, when you see loads and loads of negative news, it can ultimately mean that the markets are starting to change, they're starting to get stronger, and it could well be a potentially good opportunity. But right now, the fear kind of level within global markets is starting to step up. I do think there's more downside because of that, and eventually you're gonna find a bottom when the fear reaches absolute maximum. Fear levels in crypto are not quite what they were. I think it's gonna be a turn up to really squeeze out the weak hands. So in terms of what I'm doing, I'm looking to accumulate more Ethereum, etc., at around $1,000. In terms of looking for those secret hidden crypto gems that are gonna give me massive returns, yeah, I might be allocating a few percent of my portfolio to those, but ultimately, the bigger cryptocurrencies are significantly less risk, but they still have massive upsides. You've got Bitcoin with an enormous market cap with a great upside potential now, Ethereum even more so, and then you look into coins like Solana, Sand, Gala, etc. So guys, you shouldn't be really panicking or worried right now. If you are, then it's probably because you've over leveraged yourself. Always, if you are using leverage trading, then make sure you're putting in stop losses, take profits, etc. I'm gonna cover some of that in my Telegram group if you want to go and find out more about how to day trade, as well as other like giveaways, etc. that I'll do in that group. If we're looking across to the Ethereum Bitcoin chart, you can see Ethereum is really, really high against Bitcoin because typically you see that during a bull run at the top of a bull run, and yet clearly we're in a downtrend right now. I don't think that Ethereum is about to flip Bitcoin or anything like that. I do see this kind of trend line through here, a couple of tops coming in, maybe we'll see another top and then a push uh, like this. And once we see a push and we start to find a support somewhere through here on the Ethereum Bitcoin chart, it's gonna give me a good indication that Ethereum is ready to start pushing. That's where I can see Ethereum pushing down to around $1,000, Bitcoin pushing to around 16, maybe a little less, who even knows. If you get a lot of liquidations, then you're gonna see a lot of pain in the market, but that pain is gonna get bought up quickly and then we're gonna see some amazing things happen. So guys, make sure you go and check out that link down below in the description. See what's going on on that Telegram group. Guarantee that it's gonna start growing very quickly and we can all start working together in order to maximize our crypto gains. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, smash the like button. Thanks very much, guys. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to be kept up to date with all the latest happening in Ethereum and other cryptos. See you soon with another video, guys. Bye.